Welcome to this episode of the Sarcastic Prophet. I'm Romulus, and this is the final piece of my Guardian footage, uh, finishing up the Snow Leopard quest here. Uh, after this, I'll have a little bit of remaining stuff, just some funny stuff that I found, uh, some fun quests and stuff that I had to come up with. Um, oh no, here I am getting killed by a moose. I think I actually die here. Do I make it? Oh. Uh, Oh, I actually got killed by a moose. How a moose. <laughs> Alright, so now you gotta pull up the map. Once you actually die, you have to pull up a map and look for a respawn point. Uh, those waypoints are... It's important to explore the map and try to find these waypoints. Um, to actually, so you can resurrect yourself. Uh, but it looks as if a whole bunch of player kitties are coming to my aid and as they re resurrected me, I got a message. I don't know what that message was, but um, I helped them finish off the moose that killed me. And I uh, went back to go get transformed again. Uh, so anyway, um, this is the last bit. Before I start showing uh, weapon videos, um, this is the last bit of my Guardian footage. Um, I was actually incorrect. Uh, I got to the edge of Molensk, but I didn't actually go. I actually I went into it, of course, several times, but I didn't get any um, uh, footage of me recorded while I was in there. I thought I did, but I think the frame rate was just too bad, so I didn't. I will get it on my next uh, beta event. And there were some other places that I, I did some of the char and human areas, and uh, there were some places I want to go that I just I just didn't have time to or couldn't. Um, here's this reward system. Here's this karma I was talking about. Uh, I gained some points. I'm able to actually purchase some items. Now, of course, this middle item um, gave me a 3% crit damage, which I can now equip. And very nice. Um, you saw like two other pieces, mostly were crafting related. Uh, but this is an actual item that goes into a uh, miscellaneous slot, I believe. Um, I think you get two of these. I can't remember. Um, but they're varied. I mean, I've come across uh, different kinds. Um, it just depends on what the the vendor is selling. Um, once you complete uh, whatever he is that he wants you to do, uh, like this no NPC leopard. here wanted me to, of course, you know, hunt as a snow leopard. I did it. I did some extra no stuff, and of course, I got uh, uh, extra karma to get that nice little item, and it does help. I mean, I, I think I noticed, uh, especially with the bigger weapons, um, with the great sword, I know it to be been a difference in damage. Um, so anyway, I'm done with that, and I'm going to move on. Um, probably going to go ahead and just fast forward uh, we're going to go to the snow wolf area I'm going to try that area next um, get that taken care of so let's see here I think I'll just go ahead and we'll just uh, fast forward to the next area and here we are doing the this quest was semi buggy I mean it is beta uh, as you can see the other wolves on the ground had the circles around them and you commune with the wolf and uh, go hunting with them. As long as you stay within the circle, your progress bar goes up. And of course, when you come across monsters they want to fight and you help them kill them, uh, it goes up even faster. But it was just this one pack of wolves was the only one that was working. The other two did not work. And so as you can see, and these other people who just came along, they want to help. And so now they're, just, they're with me and in the circle and they're getting credit as well. So here comes um, a son of Spud here. Help me kill them. As well as the players helping out. And it, this one went up pretty fast. Unlike the Snow Leopard one. I really wanted to go over there and see what was going on. I could have left. This is the beauty of this game. I don't have to stay on this. I won't fail anything. Uh, it'll just stop. And when I come back, it'll pick up where I left off. I could have gone over to that camp and started that event. That was a whole other event where you have to, you know free their uh, uh, snow wolf pups and uh, destroy their tents and uh, uh, kill those sons of spawn your moms over there um, I think that's what I ended up doing I wanted to go see it looked interesting so I was like okay I just want to try it real quick and of course yeah, it's just not working it's beta 
which is fine. That'll get fixed soon enough. Uh, so here I am coming over here. And there's all kinds of stuff. I see mobs and I uh, see a banner I can hit. All right, so I just go straight to the fray and start fighting. And you gotta be careful. These, they're even at your level. These guys, um, you know, can be pretty tough. Um, especially the casters. If I'm not mistaken. And I'm already half health just from that one little fight. Banners has something to do with the event too, but I never figured out what. I gave me some additional known, but so then I start attacking their tent, and apparently that's a bad idea because here come all the mobs. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, big mistake. Okay, I'll fight them. Bring it on, and just get dropped. I mean, you got to be careful. <laughs> So I was like, I'm trying. The second ability has like a nice snare and knockdown. Of course, I just get wasted. This time, no one's here to to save me. No little kitties to resurrect me. So now I'm going to have to uh, definitely respawn. Uh, I did notice that it was actually cost me to respawn, too. Um, I don't know if there's a free respawn point anywhere. But this one, you know, you had to respawn. Uh, as you can see, my pants broke. <laughs> so I'm now... Pantsless. Uh, I have to go back to a merchant vendor to get it fixed. Um, I was kind of like, what's going on here? <laughs> so, <laughs> I was looking looking around like, trying to figure out what's going on. And I was like, uh, take it off? No, no, they're broken. I can see the red shield. I was like, oh, great. So I can start seeing where there's damage involved. It, it accumulates fairly fast. Uh, even with just normal wear and tear and not actually dying. Oh, I finished the event. Uh, the other players there went ahead and completed it even though I died. Uh, and I got placed to silver. Even because some of my contributions for taking out those banners and you know beating on the tent and killing some of those guys. Uh, even though I wasn't in the vicinity when it was complete. Um... It was, it, it, I got credit for it anyway, which is really, really nice. Uh, same goes for stuff when you have to turn things in as well. If you complete, collect a whole bunch of things and the maximum amount gets turned in, you still have time to go and turn yours into and get additional uh, karma and credit, uh, which is really nice because it's frustrating to go do all that stuff around to the vendor and then it's too late. So it's not too late. It's a wonderful design idea. I mean, there's hardly, nothing is really contested. It's really nice. Uh, some objectives are, but you still get credit. So uh, I didn't see any conflicts or arguments whatsoever. I mean, if there were, it was just comments about the game versus other games, or issues with um, you know lag and um, the overflow system. People were wanting to play with their friends, and they just couldn't do it because the overflow was weird and um, would assign you to different overflow servers, no matter if you're in a group or not. So. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It looks like the snow was a one. I'm like, okay, all right. Well, let's go see what's further up the hill. Not the leg. See what I can find. <laughs> My pantsless guardian. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. And I see players already going to the next stage of the event. I'm like, all right, I'll join up with them. This is so cool. I'm now part of their party. I didn't even have to join. And the event scales a little bit. The mobs are a little bit tougher. But you get more reward. There's a lot of mobs back here. With some casters. We're all injured. <laughs> we all took arrows in the knee. And that's it. We cleared it out. There's a little tre treasure chest here in the back. Get you an extra piece of gear. I think this is where... I thought I could break this, but it's not. It's a dragon shrine. Or a Jormag, I believe. Uh, I actually got like a the hammer. A uh, two-handed hammer from that treasure chest. I don't realize it just yet.
that was one of the weapons that I wanted to use, test out for PvP, because it has a knockback effect on it. So I wanted to use, there it is, I wanted to use um, the knockback and then use like one of the shield walls as a kind of way to control the battlefield a little bit. But the way the timer system worked, um, you only have two weapon sets at one time and it takes some time to actually transfer between them and I can't really swap them out mid-combat so I would have to do something weird it was like hammer and then staff and it just the combination just didn't work out well for me at all I really the great sword was really a, a, a DPS weapon for the Guardian um, if you wanted to do like your bubble you would need your either sword or mace and shield to do your bubble and then to do your wall as a staff um, so the knockback in testing, it was great, but uh, I couldn't get seems to knock mobs off uh, ledges. I tried that. You'll see in the, in the uh, weapon test videos that uh, I tried to knock off a, uh, a Jotun or Jotun, is what they're called, the little giants, and it didn't work. I wonder if it work on a player. It'd be kind of cool to actually knock players off. I played Age of Conan. Uh, quite a bit when it first came out and uh, there was a video floating around still up by the way of this guy on a horseback and uh, guys were walking past him and it was on a mountain ledge and he would just kick him off the ledge and go <laughs> flying down to the bottom oh it was so much fun to watch so here I am walking back finishing this quest up I just happened to catch the tail end of it didn't quite get what I need so I did it one more time for good measure with my massive sledgehammer. Still pantsless. I haven't gone and fixed that yet. But there we go. I completed the quest. Well, it's a little... So I decided to venture off and see what was down here. I wanted to beat this lizard with my hammer. Of course, it's very slow. And if you're in PvP, I mean, I'd, someone was using that against me, and it was easy to dodge if you know what you were doing. You don't even have to double tap because the weapon was slow. So, if they hit, they hit hard, but if a, if a mob or a person's good enough, they can dodge the attack. As you can see, how, you know, it took several seconds for that, that attack to go through. It hit hard. Up for a challenge? Oh. <laughs> out here. You must visit more often. In the event. I do love how they're just scattered around. Alright, so I'm going to go turn this in. And get my... I think I had enough karma for the wolf reward. Let's see here. You must visit more often. No, not quite. That's okay. Well, anyway, that sums up this video. Um, next video I'll have the remaining pieces plus some of the other quest content that I was talking about. Uh, if you like this video, of course, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment if you liked it or not. If you didn't, of course, thumbs it down and tell me why you didn't like it. Um, and I will have more coming out soon, so go ahead and subscribe if you'd like, because uh, i got more on the way. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.